got to use up the rest of this stuff. Are you ready? No, we're not. James the Brains. Get us out of here. Now we are. What the? Diesel said you might come to visit. What an honor. It's been a very long time. Diesel Tin was the main antagonist in Thomas and the Magic Railroad, and even today is still uh, somewhat of a bad guy. They kind of watered him down a little bit, but as a kid, this character was extremely intimidating, as his primary role in the movie was to destroy all of the steam engines, as well as the magic engine and the buffers that lead to her. Arguably, this was the first time we had a real villain in Thomas and Friends. And what's interesting is Diesel was meant to be a secondary antagonist, as originally the main bad guy of the movie was going to be a man named P.T. Boomer, but he was found as a bit too much for a child audience, and as such he was written out of the script, being basically totally replaced by Diesel Tin, as he was found as a more suitable primary villain, and his original role would change as well. Diesel's plan in the original script was to make the lives of the steam engines miserable, and plan to destroy all of the buffers on the railway as to derail the steam engines, with the diesels taking over and rebuilding the buffers afterwards. And once it's discovered that a pair of these lead to the Magic Railroad, his plans for diesel domination are thus halted. It's also worth noting that in the original script, Diesel Tin is brought to the island to help while Sir Topham Hatt is away, instead of returning to Sodor to finally destroy Lady once and for all, but instead he would cause more havoc than help. Following Thomas and the Magic Railroad, he wouldn't return until calling all engines. But after this return, he would remain absent for another three years, only making a cameo in The Great Discovery. Two years later, he would appear in Misty Island Rescue, but what you're seeing now is the last time we would ever see the Diesel Tin model. And Diesel Tin's Gauge 1 model is a lot like the other characters, being scratch built from brass with pickup contacts and an eye mechanism, as well as a functional claw that was controlled by the pre programmed motion control. Concept art shows that originally it was meant to extend after unfolding from the inside of his roof, but this was dropped for engineering concerns. The model would also feature an extended version of Pinchy, used when he would hang from the bridge and get smacked by him, as well as have eight different facial expressions sculpted for him. Seven would only be used on screen, however. And Diesel Tins Mountain from Thomas and the Magic Railroad is based off of his original smiling face, so I guess you could say they got more than their typical use. A life-size version of Diesel Tin was required for scenes where he had to interact with actors, but most of what you see in the movie is green screen effects, as only a small portion of Diesel Tin's rear cab was ever built. A life-size version of Pinchy was built as well, but only half of his arm was ever assembled as the entire body didn't need to be seen. Diesel Tin would also have a close-up model built for him, but like most other close-up models, it's incomplete, only featuring Pinchy and only being seen in Calling All Engines. While I like to report that these models have found a nice home and are doing okay nowadays, I can't really do that with Diesel Tin, his face masks, or any of his other models, as no one seems to be sure what happened to them or where they're at. I know where I'm happy they're not at, but their actual location is a bit of a mystery. And from what I can tell, they only ever built one Gauge 1 Diesel 10 model, so wherever he is, let's just hope that they're doing a, a better job than this. He already took one fall, we, we don't need another one, we don't need another one. While it has nothing to do with the models, I also found this interesting and figured you guys would too. In the original script, where Diesel 10 falls off of the viaduct and lands in the sludge barge, Junior, using a magical bandana, would turn not only Diesel 10, but PT Boomer into sludge as well. I'm not sure how they would have went about modeling that, but C. Swine on Twitter would illustrate it quite beautifully. I'll have it linked in the description for those who haven't seen. If you haven't already, be sure to check this guy's art out, he makes amazing stuff. But getting back on track, in 2009 the show would introduce CGI, thus replacing the long-standing live-action models. Diesel 10's Gauge 1 model was used for reference, but after that point wouldn't be seen again, and like I said before, no one even knows what happened to it. I'm also not going to make the argument that the old Diesel 10 was better than the new Diesel 10 in this video, as I've already made a video detailing my gripes with the new Diesel 10, and as you guys know, I'm classic series over anything, so I'm kinda biased. But I will leave off with this note. Was Thomas and Friends not better with bad characters? I mean, say what you want about Thomas and the Magic Railroad, you don't have to like it, but this movie introduced a real antagonist to Thomas and Friends. It made the Steamies vs. Diesel's trope so much more serious. We even get to see him actually attempt to kill James and Junior, and when have we had any stakes that are even similar to that? After this movie, I mean. When they watered down Diesel Tin, they did a huge disservice not only to the character, but to the idea of the character. And sure, Thomas and the Magic Railroad had Alec Baldwin and a bunch of unnecessary stuff, but not everything it introduced was so bad. And personally, not only do I miss the old Diesel Tin, but the stakes as well. Say what you want about the movie, but you can't knock that it had a solid villain. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe as there's always more train stuff on the way. And if there's any other characters that you guys would like to know the history of, be sure to let me know down in the comments. As this series isn't really following a particular order anymore, so any suggestions you guys have, I'm all ears for. Right now it seems like a tie between Scarlowy, Bill and Ben, and the Troublesome Trucks. So I'll likely do a poll within the next couple days to figure out who you guys want to see. And if there's anyone else I should add to that list, be sure to let me know down below. But for now, and as always, thank you guys again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>